How's it going, everyone? And welcome to kind of, it's, let's be real. It's going to be kind of a dumb video. We're going to be doing uh, the world's hardest level series, which contains the world's hardest jump, the world's hardest orb, the world's hardest ship, spider, wave, ball. And if I can find a robot, I'll do a robot one, but I didn't really prepare one. I recorded this video already, but the audio didn't work. But when I recorded this the first time, I didn't actually complete all the levels because I gave up on some because I was really tilting. So maybe this time I'll get them. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to start with the world's hardest jump, the world's hardest jump, which let's just jump right into it. It's basically just one jump and it's extremely tight. But now here's the deal. You can't actually like jump through there. Like you can't jump through this jump and just get it. Like, I think that's the best you can actually get just by jumping. Like you need to hold down the button and keep on jumping. And that's the only way to do it because you get a bit of extra height when you do that. So I think what you got to do is you got to jump right before the J in jump. Yeah, it's like right before the J in jump. And then you can eventually make it through. That was close. We are making it. Now, I actually don't know if you can do this on 240 hertz. This might actually be something you can only do on 60 hertz because I do remember for like a lot of these world's hardest because they're like some of them are exactly frame perfect jumps. And on 240 hertz, the game works just a little tiny differently. Like sometimes you jump just a tiny little bit higher as like the UFO in the cube. And that affects the game when you're doing like frame perfect tricks like this, you know, like normally even in the hardest of extreme demons, it doesn't affect the game that much. I mean, it does sometimes, but normally like you can work around it. You can jump a little bit earlier, a little bit later, however it affects the game. But with these frame perfect jumps, it just sometimes doesn't work. I might actually have to go down to 60 Hertz here. V-Sync be gone. Let's look all poopy, but doesn't matter. It looks really good on your end of things because it records at 60 hertz which youtube basically shows that but when i turn off v-sync it looks really bad on my monitor oh yeah you see that 60 hertz and then boom i get it like third try i know what i'm talking about i know my stuff oh world's hardest jump two attempts two attempts so you got to hold down the button right before the j if you want to do this level it's not too hard. It, you do have to do it on like the, I think it's the exact frame, but like you throw yourself at it enough and you'll eventually get it. As soon as like the right corner of your cube touches the J, then you just go, you jump. I can show you guys. Look, I'll show you guys in a speed hack. See, look, here we go. <gasps> yeah, that's that's gotta be it. So I don't know, it's, you know, just like a millimeter or whatever. Right before, I mean, this is gonna, this is gonna be it. We'll get this jump. Oh, beautiful. Ah! Okay, I mean, it's right around there. Okay, you guys get the picture. Okay, the next one is the world's hardest orb, which I don't think... You might actually have to do this at 60 hertz because I think it is frame perfect. And in this one, you're the UFO. So I'm also going to consider this one the world's hardest UFO because I want to do one of each game mode. So the first one was the cube, the world's hardest jump. This is the world's hardest UFO and orb together. You know, we're, we're allowed to do that, right? So this one, what you got to do is you got to hit it right at the corner of the uh of the orange jump orb so the best way to do that is to jump twice at the beginning one two and then oh my god guys just for a little bit of reference when i first did this in another video like the one that my recording failed on it took me like 150 attempts okay that was a massive fluke and i am super proud of myself wow Holy smokes, the world's hardest orb slash UFO. Nailed it. So what you do to do that, you jump twice and then you got to hit the very top left corner of the uh, orb, like right up there. See, like I'm not going to be able to get this. You got to hit it exactly on the top left corner. Like it looks like you're even outside of the orbs range. That was almost it. Like, look how hard that is. It has to be exactly on the top left corner. There we go. That's it again. It's very hard to do that. Well, okay, it's very hard to get used to at first, doing like the two jumps and then lining yourself up with the top left corner of the orb. But once you get it, it's it's not so bad. And so this one took me a long time. Like, look at how many attempts are on here. 341 attempts. I spent like, what, like 30 attempts now on it? Okay, the next one we're going to be doing is the world's hardest ball because, uh, you know, it's called the world's hardest ball, but, but is it? I ended up getting this one like really quick. Um, this one it took me like two attempts when I first came here. I mean, that is pretty tight. That is like, how did I get, I got this in like two attempts. I fluked it before. 
I have 31 attempts on it right now. If you go here, it says 34. I literally fluked this in three attempts last time I got here. Like, what is going on right now? I don't understand. There, I got it. Nice. I switched it back to 240 hertz and I was able to do it. See, this game is so weird. Some hertzes that you play on, 60 hertz, 240 hertz, 144 hertz, it plays just slightly differently. And so I find with these challenges, the hardest part is finding what hurts to play it on, but not everyone has that luxury. Like I have a 240 hertz monitor. I could switch it down to 144. I could switch it down to 60. Not everyone has that luxury to make these like easier or harder, depending on the hertz. Some of them are impossible on certain hertzes. <laughs> these challenges are wacky. They're wacky. We've done the UFO. We've done the ball. We have some hard game modes left. I think what we're going to do next is the world's hardest spider. This one is super wacky. I was not able to do this one on PC, but somehow I did it on my phone. Like I whipped out my phone and I was doing it and it worked. Even though I lowered the Hertz to 60 Hertz on PC and I had 60 Hertz on my phone, I was only able to do it on my phone. I couldn't do it on 60 Hertz PC and I dropped a lot of attempts into this. 740, okay? It wasn't for a lack of trying. I really tried to beat this. It is bananas. You ready? Look at this. Look at this. Okay. First, I want to show you guys that, like, when I slow this down with a speed hack, like, it is possible. It's just very, very difficult, right? You go, like, all the way into the cube, and then you go up. Wow, I can't believe I did that first try. Even with the speed hack, it's very hard. But, like, without the speed hack, I actually just can't do it. There's something wacky going on with this challenge. I wasn't able to do this on PC. Like, no matter how many times I threw myself at it, like sometimes you see yourself going up, which means you obviously clicked it too early. And sometimes I click it like right before I die and I just explode and I don't go up there. So I feel like it's like a little broken and it only works on mobile somehow. And I'll show you guys, I'll whip out my phone and I'll put however many attempts it takes me to do it on mobile. But on PC, I was not able to do this. I even tried like 500, not 500 attempts. I tried about 300 attempts of just spamming thinking like one time I would just randomly get it. And even with spamming, you would think that, you know, probability wise, you would actually just get it one time, but you don't like, you just don't get it. You know what? Let's just, let's just whip out the old GD on mobile. Okay. Are you guys ready? The world's hardest spider. Yeah. You, you guys can see that, right? You guys can see it. I got it. Nice. <laughs> that took so many attempts. Oh my God. <laughs> the things I do for you guys. Holy crap. 255 attempts to do that on mobile. And I don't even know if that's possible on PC. Like, look at this. Look at this. I've tried so many times and I cannot get this timing. No matter how many times I throw myself at it, I can never get it. Like, I don't know what it is. Like this level might only be possible on mobile and I don't know why. I have no idea why or how that works, which is why these world's hardest challenges are ridiculous. The next one is the world's hardest ship and this is really ridiculous. I dropped 2,579 attempts into this and 33% is basically the very last spike and I couldn't do it. I tried this one for over an hour over and over again and I couldn't do it and I hate it. <laughs> it's just this. Like, I think all you do is you tap like three times. Like, it is literally, you need to straight fly, like actually stay straight. Like you can't, as soon as you move the tiniest bit, you're done. You need to click like rapidly perfectly like with perfect timings it is ridiculous and i've gotten to the very end i got to the very last spike like 15 or 20 times at that 30 percent. i was pretty good right there this one is stupid <gasps> oh did you see how close that was come on 32 that's not even like i got a little bit past that okay I got past that part and I still died. I was like beyond the last spike and I died, which choked me up so hard. I did that like 15 times. Now it is possible because I will show you, like I'll, I'll speed hack it for you guys and we'll, we'll, we'll go into practice mode. See, there we go. That was it. One, two, three, four. And I was holding down the button quite a lot. One, two, three, four going through there. Gosh, I, it's, <laughs> okay. Oh my God. It's so hard, dude. You got to tap it four times going through there. 
Oh, I got it. Oh, my God. That took so long last time. Well, last time I didn't even do it. I dropped so many thousands of attempts into this and I wasn't able to do it. I am so happy. You guys have no idea how happy this makes me. I am. You know what? It was actually a blessing that my audio didn't record last time because I didn't get it after like 2,500 attempts. Yes! Oh, that's so hard! I'm gonna look for a world's hardest robot because like the normal creators of these levels actually don't have a world's hardest robot. So I'm gonna try this one. This is the most popular world's hardest robot one. This one is, I think it's impossible. Whoa, first jump through and I made it to 44%, wow. Like, is it possible to actually get through there then? Like, I guess you gotta let go. Cause like, I tried this a lot of attempts as well and I wasn't able to get through here. Then again, I did switch it to 60 Hertz. How in the world do you get past that? How, how? Oh dude, there's, there's actually like a thing you can land on. That's so dumb. But hey, I, I, I just tapped that ever so slightly. Oh, dude, I tapped it ever so slightly, but I didn't get it again. And no one's actually beaten it like on the leaderboards. There's no one. I've gotten the furthest at 45% from hitting that dash orb and no one's actually beaten it. Like this might actually be impossible. I don't know. Prove me wrong. Like you guys should try this level. The world's hardest robot. I wasn't able to beat it before uh, in the previous video, but in this one, I got 45%, which is further than I had gotten before. But that dash orb is... Like, I don't know if you can hit that dash orb light enough to fall into the gap because you're literally like a frame away from being safe and hitting a dash orb for like just a frame is... I don't know if that's actually possible. Okay, well, the last game mode is the world's hardest wave, which is stupid. Now, you would think that you can just go up like that, like in between there. And that's the best you can do by doing that. But what you do is you got to like go up between there, but then you got to like wiggle out really quick. And let me show you what I mean. Like I will speed hack this at really slow speed and I'll show you what you have to do to be able to beat this. It is stupidly hard. So what you got to do is you got to like go through there and like if you go up too far, you die to the left spike. Like even if you're going straight between the gap, like you'll eventually just catch up with the wall. You'll die to the left spike. So like as soon as you go out of the gap, you got to let go and like slide down the right side of the bottom spike. But then if you slide down too far, you'll die and you got to click the button really quick. So it's like this tiny little jitter that you have to do to clear it. And it's stupidly hard. So see like that, you got to like... <laughs> I don't know if that's possible and normal, but you got to like go between the spikes, but you'll go down and you like, you'll hit the bottom spike. So you got to like click right away. So you got to like go up, jitter down and then quick. And it's just, I don't know if that's humanly possible. It probably is, but it's stupidly hard. Okay. So what you can do is you can actually just go right up from the bottom, but then like you got to click so fast when you go up through there. Like you guys don't realize like when you're falling down the speed that you got to click to get through there is like ridiculous like like i don't know if that's possible normal mode to do that you know see look at even when i click twice like look at that it's not fast enough to be able to get through there like you saw like when i speed hacked it how like quick it had to be so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to like yeah if, if i can like hit my uh keyboard with my left finger like as soon as i go up that's the kind of motion i need to do is like that like maybe maybe if i do that with my keyboard, I can do it. Like with two different buttons, I can press it fast enough if I get the exact time. But that's like, that's so stupid. Oh my God, I got it. Wow, that is insanely hard to do. Oh my God, I can't believe I was able to get this. I totally gave up on that last time I was recording this because it is so ridiculously hard to do that. Man, the world's hardest wave. Holy crap, I was able to do it. That's so bananas. So there you have it, folks. Those are the world's hardest levels. I cannot believe I was able to do these. I gave up on a few of them last video and I was like, hey, you guys try it. See if it's not impossible. These are not impossible. They are just extremely difficult. They require absolute perfection just for a split second, but it requires perfection. Wow. 
I challenge you guys to see how many of them you can do at home. Uh, we did all the game modes today, except for the robot, because the robot one was a little weird. And there's not like a good robot one. Um, there's no like popular robot one. These other ones are a little more popular than that was. Um, no one's made a good robot one yet. And I think just like one robot jump pixel perfect is still like pretty easy compared to like some of these other ones, you know? So the world's hardest jump was the cube. The world's hardest orb was the UFO. The world's hardest ship is the ship. The world's hardest spider is the spider. The world's hardest wave is the wave. And there was also the world's uh, hardest ball as well. So I challenge you to try out these six levels and see if you can do it. And let me know uh, your thoughts on these levels in the comment section down below. I thought they were fun little challenges. They can be really frustrating finding out what hurts to play them on because I think they work on some hurts and they don't work on others. I ended up just keeping it at 60 hertz. I turned off V-Sync for almost the entirety of the video and I felt like that worked the best, even on like the wave and the ship ones. Even though I'm, you probably could do them at 240, but I just assumed that these were made at 60 hertz and so I completed them at 60 hertz, right? Just so I knew they would work 100%. But uh, wow, they are very hard. <laughs> That wave one in particular. And the wave one and the ship one are bananas, all right? If you guys can do those, you're a pro, all right? I, I'm putting it out there. If you guys in the comment section, you guys can do that, you're a pro. Hope you had a good time. Leave a like down below. Helps me out a lot. And I will see you in the next one. As always, peace.